Bye, Victor. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day, bro. For everybody looking at my life and wondering why it's so nice, it's because I give all the glory to the Most High. What's up, guys? We are here in California. Don't know what city we're in. What city are we in? I think this is Anaheim. We're like very close. Yeah, by Anaheim. we're close. We're, we're in the outskirts. So we just ate Denny's. We, we said were... we were gonna have Dunkin' because we love Dunkin'. But check this out. We went to a Dunkin' that was inside of a hotel, and we're waiting this long line. And then it says that we can only pay with the room. We ended up working out because, well. Everything no, because out. I didn't explain that. I didn't explain why I worked out. I don't, you don't even know why we're here. Uh, we're here because Osmel Mayorga, a fighter at To The Top Boxing Club, he has a fight on Saturday? Yes, What's today? Saturday, Friday? November 13th on the Gabriel Rosada fight. He's going to be on the undercards. Yeah, it's, it's Munguia versus Rosado. And it's, um, it's going to be held here in California, uh, Anaheim at the Honda Center. So... That's why we're here. Yeah. That's why we're here. Crazy story, guys. So check this um, out, right? So uh, Osmel Mayorga, he is the cousin of Ricardo Mayorga, which is a legend. Just YouTube him. If you don't know boxing, YouTube Ricardo Mayorga. He's an absolute legend. He is his direct cousin, except without the money and fame and all that, right? This guy is the straight up underdog. Like this guy's been overlooked. He's been rode off. He's been manipulated. He was training at other gyms and he figured out that he, he's been getting screwed over. So he just finds me on Google. He Googles to the top. No, he Googles boxing gyms near me, I, I imagine. And then next thing I know, three weeks later, we're in California in his corner. Yeah. He so. was saying he needed a, a trainer. This and this happened to him. Um, and then we're like, yeah, sure, we'll train you. And then he's like, oh, by the way, the fight's in California. Like, oh, okay. I guess we're going to California. So uh, we've never been over here. It's, it's pretty pretty interesting we ate denny's we were gonna make a video before but we were hangry we were hangry honestly yeah. like not even gonna lie we were hangry we were hangry all. i tried to make a video and i, I just wasn't with it like, yeah i'm like yeah let's we'll just wait till after we eat because i don't feel like taking a, a lift and we got time to kill we are walking to the hotel and it's like 20 minutes and after that we're gonna do the weigh-in and i know that he's gonna make weight because we've been praying for him and he's been working hard <laughs> Good morning. So, got the coffee. Yeah. Wait. Oh, like this. Okay. I put Miguel in charge of filming because he needs to figure out how to work the stabilizer. Right. We're leaving Duncan. We spent like an hour here. Seems like, I don't know. But we walked an hour here for sure. Was it worth it? Yeah, we have nothing else to do. Yep. I don't so, have a car, so. We got two legs though. Four legs, actually. Including mine. <laughs> In about an hour and a half, we're gonna go spend time with Osman. Right now, I can imagine the pressure that he's under. He's about to fight worldwide on pay per view television. So, yeah, I can imagine the pressure. So, we're gonna go give him some emotional support, just be there with him. And then, in a couple of hours, he will be making his way to the ring to fight Alejandro Reyes. 
and we are believing that he is gonna win. So yeah, we're excited. Getting this for a smell, because we couldn't bring it. For those who don't know, yeah, this is so he won't get cut as easy while he's inside that ring. And then if he does, God forbid, um, it will seal up the cut real quick, it'll stop bleeding. So. Yes, it's also so punches will glide right off your face. Yep. That's how you know you're in California. You got Look. Taki popsicles. No, wait, hold on. Are those popsicles? Those are like lollipops. Yes. It's a Mexican thing. They love to put the chili on everything. I never understood really it. I don't like it. But, you know, to each his own. Look, all this chili, 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 chili. Chili on chili. Look, it's like a full roll up, but chili flavored. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just wanted to kind of add to this video because we've kind of been all over the place with this uh, video. Just been focusing on what we're doing over here. And today we feel much better. That jet lag is real, y'all. That jet lag is real. But today we feel much better. Today is the fight day, November 13th, 2021. It's crazy to think that we are actually going to be in this corner of this mega fight. Like, I never would have put myself in this position. And I'm sure my wife would think the same. We would not put ourselves in this position, but it was God who put us in this position as professional boxing coaches. You know, we were just talking about it in prayer before we made this video, but God chooses the one that the world deems unqualified and he qualifies them in front of the world. He takes the, the low things of this world, the underdogs, and he raises them up. He takes the foolish things to shame, to shame the things that the world deems wise. There's always gonna be somebody that has more credentials, more experience, more wisdom, more knowledge. Uh, because at the end of the day, if the world were to look at us and, and and we had to be deemed qualified in their eyes, we're not qualified to be boxing trainers. We're not qualified to be business owners. We're not qualified to be pastors. But that's the thing. It's not the world that qualifies us. It's God. And, you know, that's something. Take that away because there's always going to be someone somewhere better. Right. But that doesn't matter because if God called you and put you in the position that you're in, or you know God's calling you to put you in the position you're in, then stand on that because God is a God that created the universe. God is a God that knew you before you were in your mother's womb. He knew you. So understand what God says that that tramples over what anybody, anyone in this world has to say about you. Right. So that's something that we both had to walk into and, and, you know, really hold on to that. Because like I said, we're around people that are more qualified. Yeah. We're around people that, you know, have all these professional, uh, professional boxers underneath them. We're around people that have all this money and God still put us there with those people. So even though they may look at us like, who do they think they are? It doesn't matter who you think I am because I know who God says I am. So thank you for my... For coming to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just amazing it's amazing we can't take no credit we give all glory to the most high because we're just walking through we're walking through where he is leading us so yeah stay tuned for what's to come next i was just saying we're constantly surrounded by people that don't see where god is calling us to so we have to constantly remind ourselves where god is calling us to because although people around us may not see it we have to constantly remind ourselves, like, we just got to keep going what God is calling us to. We just got to keep moving. So that's why we're making these videos, because we want to document the journey. To God be the glory. Talk to you guys soon. Jab. One, two. Step back. Three. Boom, boom. Jab. Good. Jab. Good. Now let's do the double jab. Good. But come inside. Boom, boom. One, two. Step back. Boom, boom. One, two. Yeah. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. You know. Talking to Jesus. You know. Walking with Jesus. That's why I'm stomping on demons. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. You know it. Talking to Jesus. You know it. Walking with Jesus. That's why they watch me succeeding. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. Oh, yeah. Talking to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Walking with Jesus. That's why I'm stomping on demons. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. Look. Talking to Jesus. Watch. Walking with Jesus. That's why they watch me succeeding. Look. I was in the pit, swimming in sand like a fish in a river. So ignorant, they didn't know it's a sinner. But I got the knowledge and I got the living. Now I am an artist who's painting my vision with lyrics. The spirit is given to me. Victory, victory, that's how it be. I feel like David against enemies. God is the greatest, can't fake anointing. Nah. 
I got a reason to preach. Yeah. I was one way, now I'm another. So much pain, I tucked under covers. Overcame my shame, no wonder how I break off chains off others. Sisters and brothers, my women and children, I'm making a difference while making a living. I do what I love and I love what I do. You want to judge? Oh, that's cool. Tell me what I owe to you. I owe my life to Jesus Christ. I sleep at night with peace of mind and I don't worry about your thoughts. My story brings glory to God. He took my wrongs and set me right. On these songs, I let them shine. He wiped my sins and cleansed my soul. So every day, I let them know that God is so incredible. In Anaheim, California, introducing to you first, set to make his ring walk. And pointing out of the blue water, pointing out of Miami, Florida, and representing the New York Times, and here it is. Awesome! Potential now I'm on another level as I'm knocking out the devil and I tell them let my people go. Whoa. Living in Miami, Florida now, born in Nicaragua. He's two and two at 32 years old. Osmel Mayorga. I am not playing around. They are not taking me down. I'm coming straight for the crown. Yeah. I like the way that I sound. My lyrics are infinite rounds. I'm shooting the enemy down. No matter what stands against me, I'm ready for anything. Snapping on any beat into the death of me. Heavenly metal, he's leaving a legacy with my music. This is my destiny, that's why I do it. I put the truth in the studio. I just go zoom like a UFO. Rapping so fast, like where I go. It happened like that, I'm a miracle. I can't believe that I made it this far. In the dark, I'm an aim for the stars. Found the light, it is right in my heart. I give the credit to God. What's up everybody? We're here with Osmel Mayorga and Daniel Paceres. But this is behind the scenes with Mayorga and just we're just gonna talk about the experience. I had a great time coming out here. I believe Osmel fought his heart out. He did the absolute best that he could. Daniel, what, what was your thoughts about the whole experience? Um, I, you know, I could agree with that uh, statement. I think Osmel went in there, gave it his all. I mean, he fought an undefeated opponent. You know, there's no slouch. Um, we gave our best. You know, one of the most rewarding things was that we, we got in there, we got booed, and as we left, we got applauded as yeah. we left the, you know, the arena. That so good. that was that was a great sign, uh, you know, for, for the fans and for Mayorga, you know, that he, he did give his all. And uh, and I really did see that, and, I, and I'm proud of him, you know, the most importantly. I can agree with that. Osmel, ¿cómo siente antes de, no, no antes de la pelea, <laughs> pero después de la pelea, ¿cómo se siente ahora mismo? Estamos bien, nos sentimos bien. Eh, sé que fue una experiencia nueva. Una experiencia muy buena y pues para dar para adelante, hay que echarle para adelante. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer ahora? Ahora vamos a entrenar más fuerte, a tomar las cosas en serio y agradecer el apoyo también que me brindaron para estar conmigo en esta pelea. De nada. Sé que, que no fue fácil, pero, pero se hizo la lucha. Increíble. Así me. Así me. Y para adelante es que vamos. Así es. <risa> bueno, gracias por tenernos okay. aquí. No, gracias a ustedes uh -huh. por, por el apoyo que me brindaron. What's up, y'all? So we're here in Los Angeles, California. Um, we don't do things that normal tourists do. So it's like we ask all of our Lyft drivers, like, oh, what is there to do around here? If you want to smoke some pot? We're like, uh, no, no. What, what is there to do? Oh, we got these bars. No, I don't know. What is there to do? So um, no offense to anyone who lives in California or LA, rather, but all y'all just be doing is smoking and drinking. and We're not with it. We took a, took a lift from the hotel to Duncan, because you already know, this is an everyday thing, especially on vacation. And we're here now, we're killing some time. We got about an hour until we have to head to the airport. So we just wanted to take this moment to kind of recap. It was an honor, it was a pleasure, it was a blessing just to be able to be there. So, you know, thanks to God, yeah, he brought yeah. us out here. He, he really did. He gave us a new vision that we're gonna strive towards. It goes hand in hand with the yeah. vision that he already showed us. So yeah, that's another thing, y'all. If you're a Christian, you best have a vision because the Bible says we perish for a lack of vision. So pray for a vision, y'all. You got to pray for it and you got to strive towards it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's not easy to strive towards that. Nothing good comes easy. I think Osmel did a wonderful job. Honestly, we're very, very proud of him. Keep in mind, he came to us three weeks before his fight. Yeah. Three weeks. And then we didn't start training until like a couple of days after that. So really yeah. like two and a half weeks on yeah. top of that. The 
the week of fight week, we kind of had to tone down our training because now it's like, all right, well, we don't want to overwork him because he has a fight coming up in a couple and of days. And he also was cutting weight like you're not supposed to cut weight the way he was cutting weight. Right. So honestly, he did an exceptional job. We're super proud of him. We're proud mm -hmm. of him. The fact that he even stepped foot in the ring. Another encouragement for our body of believers out there. The God that we serve is alive. If you're still in the same place you were last year, if you are still in the same place you were yesterday, Something's got to change. Yeah, there, there's a problem. There's, I'm sorry. And it's not God. It's, it, it's, you. <laughs> it's, it's you. It's, it's you. you. It's no. not a demon. It's you. You need yeah. it. You need to get it together, because God is constantly doing things. Like every every hour of every day, it's always something new. Just keep that in mind. Let that be a word of encouragement. If you're still in the same stagnant place, just know that there's something greater for you. you and do that. something great for God. Don't do something great for you. Yeah. Do something great. I don't know for to tell God. you that. Yeah. I don't. I don't. If know. you do something great for God, God will do something great for you. That's that fire right there. It was an awesome trip. This was strictly business. Um, we don't play around. I'm very grateful that we got to experience California, but we're not city people. We like nature. That's why yeah. we came to the park. Yeah, you know we what realized saying? I'm like over here in LA and I'm like, man, this sucks. <laughs> like I am not. The weather's nice though. I like the weather. I do yeah. like the I do like that it's not humid. Thank you guys for just tuning in on this trip. Stay encouraged, stay motivated, keep striving for more. Stop doing the same thing that you've been doing for the past year. I'm telling you, there's something greater. There's always something greater. If you don't know your purpose, ask for it, seek it, and you'll find it. It'll be given to you. Like, we say this because we've been on the other side, you know? And it's like, even the vision we have now is different from the vision that we had two before. weeks ago. Yeah, before we even got here. Mm -hmm. Different from the vision that we had two days ago. So it's like and you know why? Cause we prayed for more clarity within the vision. We prayed for it. You gotta ask. Come you on, gotta pastor. ask. Come you gotta on, ask. Pastor. Tell them. Tell them. You have not because you ask not. And that's what God says. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. <laughs> you know I'm rocking with Jesus. You know talking to Jesus. You know walking with Jesus. That's why I'm stomping on demons. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. Know it. Talking to Jesus, know it. walking with Jesus, that's why they watch me succeed. And you know I'm rocking with Jesus. Oh yeah, I'm talking to Jesus. Oh yeah, walking with Jesus, that's why I'm stomping on demons. You know I'm rocking with Jesus. Look, talking to Jesus, watch. walking with Jesus, that's why they watch me succeed. Look.